So, remember how I said at the beginning of the year I was the keeper of too many hobbies and I was trying to whittle them down? Well, as of this moment, I'm the maker of too many projects. Gah! Much to learn you still have. Yes, Master. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can probably guess, I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now. I've got a whole bunch of projects building up and a very, very long to-do list. First thing, of course, on the list is to finish Darth Vader's helmet, possibly paint it, although I'm not expecting to get past the paper mache stage today. Um, after I went to bed last night, I did manage to get something else done. I managed to start <laughs> the dome part. Obviously, it's a little bit too big. It looks kind of like the, the Capitol building or a miniature R2-D2 dome. But um, what I need to do is trim about an inch off the bottom so it'll fit better and then start making the eyebrows and the little flare that's of the helmet. And then cover everything with paper mache. That's as far as I'm hoping to get today with Darth Vader. Now as far as R2 goes, as you can see, I have cut out a couple of holes for the uh, logic display. I'm not sure why I did that. Maybe I was just planning ahead, but I think I'm going to stick like a little tiny box in there just for, for future reference. So if I decide to make it light up later, I can. And then of course I need to cut out the holes for the mood indicator, both front and back. Thankfully, my dad has got, I don't know how many different drill bits, so that ought to be a really quick thing. After I do that, I'm hoping to at the very least Mod Podge this thing, possibly paint it silver so R2 can finally start taking shape, and if I can, it shouldn't take that long, paint R2's legs. I've already painted his bottom, which you haven't seen yet, but I want to get him, I want to start getting him covered up, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's R2. And of course, after all that, there's still Fan Art Friday to do. I didn't do anything last week, and I'm dying to do something this week. I'm thinking since we've got almost like a Vader-Anakin theme going here, I'm going to do a picture of Anakin. Not sure what kind of style yet. I may get lazy and go back to the Peanuts style, but I know I'm going to draw Anakin from the Clone Wars. So, those are the plans today. It's already 10.30. I need to get cracking, and I think I'm going to start with the first thing on the list... Vader's helmet. So, as soon as I pull up the tutorial, let's get the show on the road. So, you've seen the front part of the mask. Now, after, what, two? Yeah. Two and a half solid hours of cutting, shaping, gluing and trimming and all but tearing my hair out, this is what I've got. Now, I know the, the crown is a little bit high, but I wasn't sure how much to trim this, and yeah. So, obviously this is a little bit on the big side. Whoa, I hope this sits up really, really high, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to turn my head at all. That's what I've got so far, and obviously, like, so. I'll put this on, I think I look like Dark Helmet. <laughs> Now, I am very tired. My hands are starting to shake. I want to do at least get the basic shape done. So, yeah, I'm going to go eat lunch. And I know it's going to take several more hours to paper mache this thing. So I think I'm just going to step aside from what I'm doing with Darth Vader and maybe give my hands a break. And then, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Actually, after lunch, I may just take a walk and take the dogs with me because the poor things have been stuck inside. It's a long story. Anyway, after I eat lunch, I'll come back and let you know what I'm going to do. So, Okay, so I just rechecked the tutorial and I actually can't do anything else with Vader's helmet until I pick up the spray paint, the actually the spray primer. I have to put the primer over the whole thing before I paper mache it because of the simple fact that paper mache has a tendency to warp whatever it's on. 
then it kind of gets kind of eh, so yeah I have to seal everything before I do that I could technically use the Mod Podge but I don't want to use that until R2's dome is finished so what I'm gonna do is gonna take a little bit of a break and then switch to R2 and paint R2's legs okay first coat of paint pretty much done. I still need to paint like the underside and things like that but yeah first coat of paint on R2's legs done. I would do more on his dome but I don't know where the drill is. <laughs> okay now while the paint is drying I'm thinking hmm while the paint is drying well, there's not much else I can do on either project while the paint is drying. So I think I'm going to head, going to head, ha, going to go ahead and do some Anakin Skywalker fan art. Woohoo! So, okay, there we go. Clone Wars Anakin. Uh, the proportions are okay, I guess, but to be honest, his face looks worse than Obi-Wan. Maybe there's merit to having a beard. Anyway, it's already four o'clock and I need to get this stuff capped uh, captured? No. Anyway, I can't do any more until the foam brush dries. Yes, I only have one. I can probably grab another one for like a dollar <laughs> from any nearby store, but I'm gonna have to sign off for today and pick up where I left off tomorrow between practicing with lightsabers. So that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more like them, go ahead and click that little subscription button down below. Question of the day. Do you think I should continue drawing Clone Wars characters or since I cannot do any more streaming video other than YouTube because of our internet situation, do you think I should just, you know, let it go, let it go, and just let the Clone Wars go away? Anyway, I'll check back in tomorrow between lightsaber fighting and whatever I happen to be building. So until then, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye, guys.